Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Sophia if you're new here and if you are new, please consider subscribing. So for this week, I wanted to do something just a little bit different as it is my 10th YouTube video. Yay! I wanted to give you guys 10 easy wall decor DIYs you can do using and repurposing general household items and recycled products. If that sounds good to you, let's DIY. first DIY we are going to make a candle wall sconce. I did this in my decorate for free blue bathroom. I'll link this in the cards here and a lot of people really loved it and it's not complicated to make at all. We're gonna put a different spin on it this time though. So all you need are two plastic containers in various sizes, an exacto knife, spray paint, and an L bracket and obviously a candle. So the first step is going to be to cut a little slit in your bigger of the two plastic lids and to slide the L bracket through, gluing the smaller one on top as seen here. And now that the sconce is all built, it's time to add a quick coat of spray paint. I'm using this metallic brass spray paint by Krylon and I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. I don't think that anybody would guess that this wall decor piece came from recycled materials. So definitely give this one a go. Super easy and very beautiful. And next up, you're gonna have to go into your kitchen cabinet for this one and grab your food coloring. Food coloring is something that I don't think I've ever actually used in the kitchen, so we're gonna make some wall decor with it. I'm just gonna use one color. I liked the orange a lot. I thought it was really bright and fun, and it kind of reminded me of like little Saturns or something. So I'm just holding the dropper kind of high away from the paper, and then obviously lay something down so you don't stain whatever is underneath. Then I'm just kind of shaking it around to add some more dimension and to give it some variation. And now that I feel like it looks good, it's time to just let it dry. And when it dries, it actually dries all one solid color, which is kind of cool. And it gives it this kind of abstract effect. And I think it's really cute, very easy and affordable. For the next wall decor item, we are going to upcycle a dollar store mirror. I don't know if you guys have seen this mirror at the Dollar Tree, but the frame is really cheapy, like plastic, easily broken. But I did have this nicer frame, but the glass broke inside. So it was like a perfect marriage. So I'm gonna combine the two to upcycle this mirror. I'm just spray painting this in that same gold spray paint I used for the sconce just to make it all really cohesive. After I spray painted this frame, I need to just spray paint the frame from the dollar store mirror and then I just laid the mirror down and laid the frame that I spray painted on top of that to give it more dimension and it is done. Looks great and definitely does not look like it cost $1. For the next DIY, I think this is still a thing. People still get the newspaper, right? We are going to take the comic art section of the newspaper and insert it in a frame. So again, I'm using a similar frame to the one I used previously, and I'm just going to take the mat, trace around a section or two that I like so I can try a different couple options, and then I'm going to cut around the back of the newspaper so that's the part that shows through. After I found the section that I really liked, I just needed to grab some tape, so I taped it to the back of the mat so what I wanted to show through would show through and not move around while in the frame. Now that we're all secure, it's just time to pop it in the frame, and I love how this came out. I think it's really cute, maybe for a playroom or something like that, and if you think it's a little plain and you want to add a little bit more personalization to it, you totally can, maybe writing something funny on the front or using some cute little stickers, whatever your preference is, or if you're not really into the comic thing, you can use other sections of the newspaper, so just to spark some inspiration for you guys. Next up, I really wanted to make a 3D wall art medallion. I think we have this tendency to always assume that what we put on our walls has to be a picture or a painting, so I wanted to do something different. I have like 15 of these dollar store baskets, so I thought I could sacrifice one to make this piece. I needed to detach the basket weave part from the bottom, so this is what I'm left with. And now it's just time for some spray paint. And I'm just using that same gold brassy spray paint that I used earlier in this video. And to add a little bit more detail to the bottom of this basket, I have this old earring where the clasp had broken. So I'm just gonna hot glue this earring to the center just to give it a little bit more dimension. 
And after I did that, I just wanted to add, again, a little bit more dimension. It was still looking a little plain to me. So I have these gold little jemmies. So I wanted to put one gem on each prong to make it look not as obvious that it was a basket. I just used a very standard hot glue gun. I used Gorilla Glue Sticks, which I think are worth mentioning because I do feel like they thread less and they hold a lot better. And now that we're all glued down, it's just time to pop this sucker on the wall. And I love how it came out. It's definitely one of the more crafty, crafty wall decor pieces of the bunch, but I really do think it's beautiful. The next DIY I have is a very easy one. It is a framed gift bag. This gift bag was actually given to me by my husband on my first ever Mother's Day, which was so cute. And it's one of those gift bags you don't want to re-gift it because I don't want to lose it because it's sentimental to me. So I thought what I would do was just flip on the other side so all you see is that floral print and put that part in the back of the frame. And I think it looks so beautiful. And honestly, this is probably the easiest of the bunch to make because you're really not doing anything besides putting a bag in a frame. I think it turned out really cute and it's perfect for spring. Okay guys, next up we're gonna do something really fun. It's called Brush Dot Wall Art. This was actually inspired by Mr. Kate. She did an entire wall of this, but because I don't have the confidence, I'm just gonna do it on a smaller scale and put it in a frame. So the first thing I needed to do was spray paint this frame matte black, of course. The one frame that I have that's already brass, I'm making black. It always ends up happening this way for me, I swear. But it ended up looking really, really cool, so stay tuned. Now that I've spray painted the frame the right color while that's drying, I have this pink polka dotted wrapping paper and this toffee brown acrylic paint. So I'm gonna use the polka dots as almost like a guide to where I need to put the brush marks at. I'm just wrapping the back of the frame in this polka dotted wrapping paper so then that way it stays put. And now that we're all wrapped up, I am going to start taking my brush and just lightly dabbing a little bit of paint on each of the polka dots. Some of them I'm going to make thicker, some of them I'm going to make thinner just to make it a little bit more interesting. And you can use whichever colors you like. This is just what I had. And I think it looks really, really beautiful. Any sort of combination of colors I think would look incredible, but this is just what I had and I really love how it came out. So next up I have this nail polish wall art that I saw on Pinterest, so we're gonna give it a go. All you need is nail polish and computer paper. It's that easy. So I would just recommend maybe not using like red because that might turn out like looking a little bloody and we don't really wanna do that. So I'm gonna use this lavender color that I've had for a while now and just make straight lines across the paper. You can really make whatever design you want. I just saw this one and I thought it looked cool, so I'm just making those straight lines, letting them dry, and then putting them in the frame. And if you wanted to use multiple colors as like a gradient effect, I think that would even look cooler than this turned out, but I absolutely love the result. For the next DIY, you only really need two things, one, a frame, and two, a perfume box. The perfume box can be whatever brand you like. My mom gave me this Chanel perfume box, so I'm just gonna use what I have. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the matte part of the frame, which is that white border that you see around the frame, lay that on top of the box so I can see how deep I need to cut from the corners. After I cut out the section of the box that I wanted, I just simply laid it on top of the mat and closed it up, and that is it. Very easy, and you're using a product that you already have, so it's free. And for the last wall decor DIY I'm gonna leave you with is to take an old page from an old book and put it in a frame. This is super easy, and I know a lot of people have like mixed feelings about it because they feel like you're damaging a book, but in my mind, how I feel is 
I don't read this book anymore. Why don't I make some beautiful wall decor with it instead? I just took this page that says, While We Were Young, which is the title of the book. So technically you could still read this book and nothing should really change. And I'm putting it on the back of the mat, just adding a little tape there. And I think it turned out really cute. And now I just have it styled on my bookshelf with other little items that I love. And I think it looks really cute. And this is where I leave you guys. I hope this gave you guys some motivation to do some of these wall decor DIYs in your own house. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I post home decor content every single week. I hope I see you guys next Sunday. Bye.